Let's talk about divisibility tests of few numbers and we will include numbers like 8, 11 and 12 in this section. So what is the divisibility test of 8? So given any number, I'll take any random number. The divisibility test says that if the last three digits are divisible by 8, then whole number is also divisible by 8. That's it. Now this test usually works for very large numbers. Otherwise, you don't really need divisibility test for 8. So if I just test out whether 732 is divisible by 8. So I find that there is a remainder 4 and it's not completely divisible by 8. And that's why 25,732 is not divisible by 8. What about 3,59,120? Now let's look at last three digits. So last three digits are completely divisible by 8 and that's why this particular number is divisible by 8. That's about it. Now what about 12? Now remember 12 is the multiplication of 4 and 3. So if a given number is divisible by 4 and also divisible by 3 then any given number should be divisible by 12. What is the divisibility test of 4? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. Let me just quickly write it. And what is the divisibility test for 3? Sum of digits should be divisible by, by 3. Sorry for my spelling mistakes, but this is the gist. So both these tests should be followed in order for a number to be divisible by 12. So let's take an example. So my example is 3472. In this case, last two digits are 72 and we definitely know that 72 is divisible by 4 since 18 fours are 72 and also the sum of digits is 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 is 7 plus 9 and is 16 but 16 is not divisible by 3. So even though this number is divisible by 4 it's not divisible by 3 and therefore this number is not divisible by, by 12. I would encourage you to verify the result using calculator as well. Now let's go for the divisibility test by 11. So how do we know if a given number is divisible by 11? Let's take a known example to us, something like this. And in here we have 1,21,121. What we do is that we have to look at alternate numbers. So we sum up the alternate numbers from the right. And we, then we also sum up other pair of alternate numbers like this. So this sum here is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 2 which is 4 and the other sum is 1 plus 1 plus 2 again so it's 1 plus 1 plus 2 and that's also 4. If the subtraction of if the difference between both these sums is divisible by 11 then the given number has to be divisible by 11 and this is the test the given number is indeed in this case is divisible by 11 because you can divide 0 by 11 and you don't have a remainder because the answer is 0. In fact in this case I knew that 1,21,121 was indeed divisible by 11. Let's take an example that we already know. Let's take 132. In this case as well the alternate digit sum is 2 plus 1, 3 and the other pair of alternate numbers only includes 3. So 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and in the other numbers we also have 3. The difference is again 0 and 0 is divisible by 11. So 132 is also divisible by 11. Now please note that we did not look at the rationale behind why the divisibility tests of 8 and 11 are the way that we presented. Why are these tests like that? But we did look at the reasoning behind the divisibility test of 12. It is only because the reasoning is out of the scope of this video at this stage.